Hello, potential economists. My name is Mr. Hardy, and I'm head of business and economics at Jamira College. When I usually ask students what economics is about, they will say one word, and that is money. Economics is about so much more than that. It's about how we can best use our limited resources to solve society's problems. Students typically ask what the difference is between business and economics. Both subjects are closely related and there is a large degree of crossover between the subjects, but in different contexts. Business studies is the examination of management in the business world. This includes a range of areas such as marketing, finance, human resources and operations. You will study how the economic environment will affect these functional areas. Economics, on the other hand, is the study of the limited resources that we have and how to best allocate those resources. The course is designed for those students who have an interest in economic issues and are perhaps also considering studying economics at A-level. In GCSE Economics, she will attempt to resolve the economic problem. The economic problem is that we have so many wants but unlimited resources. This is on a consumer, business and government level. With your savings, should you spend it on a university degree or should you blow it all in a trip around the world? Should businesses invest in new machinery or maybe in an advertising campaign with their leftover profit? Should the government cut spending on healthcare or schools? In GCSE Economics, you will attempt to work out what is the best use of our limited resources. You will link the economic problem to current affairs, such as should we abolish tuition fees? People are a labour resource. Should everyone, regardless of their income, have the opportunity to improve their skills? Is a weaker pound a bad thing? The pound drops significantly in value after the Brexit vote. Could a weaker pound help us to achieve government objectives such as economic growth? Do taxes on cigarettes work? We know that cigarettes are harmful to our health and others around us. Again, people are a limited labour resource. Should the government ban cigarettes or will taxes work in order to reduce this problem? That's just a few examples of the interesting conversations we have in GCSE Economics. So, how is the course uh, examined? Economics can generally be broken into macroeconomics, which concentrates on the behaviour of the economy as a whole, and microeconomics, which focuses on individual people and businesses. You will have two papers, paper one, which focuses on microeconomics, and paper two, which focuses on macroeconomics. Paper one will be one hour, 45 minutes, and worth 50% of the uh, full GCSE. You'll have two sections, section A with 10 multiple choice questions, followed by a range of calculation, short and extended response questions. Section B, you will have five questions, uh, which will be a mix of calculations, uh, short and extended responses. The other 50% of your GCSE will be macroeconomics. Uh, the exam will also be one hour, 45 minutes with two sections, section A, MCQs, and some short extended response questions. Section B, five questions with a mix of calculations, short and extended responses. So what will you learn in GCSE economics? In your first year, you will study microeconomics. You will start with the basics of economics, then move on to using diagrams to determine prices. You will then focus on business economics and study how to calculate costs, revenue, and profits. You will find out how this will differ in different types of markets, such as the monopoly market. Finally, you will investigate markets that are failing to allocate resources effectively and what the government can do to reduce market failure. In your final year, you will study the macro economy. We have four main government objectives, that is economic growth, low and stable inflation, balanced current account and a balanced budget. You will study each objective, how we can achieve that objective and how objectives can conflict with each other. Finally, we will study the global economy where we will investigate the costs and benefits of globalization. You can see an example of the questions that we would have in paper one. So you've got an MCQ question there. In economics, we draw lots of diagrams. So you may have a diagram question worth three marks where you will have to draw and fully label a supply and demand diagram. We have 15 mark questions, which are the longest mark questions in both papers. Uh, in that question, you'll be, uh, you will need to 
analyze uh, and build evaluation. And in this case, the question there, uh, you need to decide if you think the UK government should intervene to increase competition in the UK toys and games market. So it's really important that our students are reading the news so that they find it easier to build applications in the UK. Paper two, we'll have similar questions. We'll have some two mark questions, three mark questions, six mark questions, uh, and also a nine mark question. For example, here, for the nine mark question, you have the case study and students will need to use data from that case study um, to reach an agreement in their answer. We have lots of different exemplar answers to help students with their exam technique. Uh, we have exam structures for them to follow, uh, and we will always be working on improving uh, exam technique throughout the two-year course. So, what can the study of economics lead to? We live in a corporate world and the markets operate around us constantly. Because of this, economics is a universal subject. There are few of any careers for which an understanding of economics would not be of some benefit. For example, it would be very beneficial in a management role or possibly banking. It also up, opens up lots of exciting opportunities to study economic related uh, subjects at A level. Entry requirements, we do not have any, but we do recommend that students have a keen interest in current affairs. I hope I've answered all your questions. If you have any more, then please email me. Uh, I thank you for listening and I hope to see you on the GCSE Economics course. Thank you.